Right, so um, yeah, well, I'm on on video Skype video with Beth in San Francisco. So, Beth, uh, tell me tell me what you're working on. Uh, hi, Mark. Um, let's see, what have I been working on? Well, for the last couple of weeks, I was on vacation with my son Alexander. Um, you know, going around here. But this week, what I'm back at work and um, getting into working on the documentation, uh, mostly that we have around RSR and looking at other things related to help.acvo.org. Um, working with Charlotte on that uh, to get her up to speed, to handle issues as they come into the help desk. Um, she'll route them to the right person. And we're trying to customize what people see there and on the back end uh, to make it simpler to get issues to the, pe to the right people in the office. Um, on the documentation side, uh, she and I have been working uh, to try and figure out the content for the help, uh, excuse me, for the, for the help, but also for, um, for the training manual that you and Linda have been working on. So to do that, that led to something else I've been thinking about doing for a while, which is creating some personas. Um, for soft for our software design. So personas are really common in design in, in, in the development in design practice, aren't they? In the development of service design and things. So how how you how you how do you think that how are you plan to use them here? Well what we want to use I think they I think they will be useful in several ways. I mean what they, they let you do on the one hand is is make sure that overall um, everybody knows who the different people you're designing for are and the high level, you know, Peter and Thomas can look at them and say, yes, yes, those are the people we're, we're targeting. Um, and the design team uh, on the software side can look at them and have an idea who the person is and always ask themselves about a feature. Would, would Jim or Mariela yeah. uh, use the product this way? When we write help or training materials, we can do the same thing with these personas. We can say, well, you know, what what would fit Mariela's needs in Bolivia? Yeah. So, so they they help make sure that everyone on our team is on the same page. Great. Well, um, it'll be really. I think we should write about this as we do it as well on the blog because I think it'll be really interesting. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Beth. Okay. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Mark.